Do you ever just look at Instagram Reels and think, wow, I wish I could do that? Well, think no more. By the end of this video, you should feel ready to submit your resume to Marvel to become a VFX artist. Okay, step one. Go into your web browser, go to Pexels, and search cars or car. Head over to videos and scroll down until you find one you like that doesn't have too much camera movement and that faces the car with the front windshield facing the camera. This will be easiest for beginners. So one like this is good. You can just hit free download. I already downloaded it. Other thing we need is the actual eyes themselves. Don't worry about the color because we can always change that later. Now we can open up After Effects. One eternity later. Once you're in a new project, drag in your footage and the car eyes themselves. Bring down the video into your timeline. Go over to the effects and presets, search up Mocha. Drag that over top your video, hit the Mocha button. Once you're in here, come up here to the spline. You can hold down Z and left click to zoom in. Middle mouse button to drag around and just mask out the windshield. Remember it's better if this is too big rather than too small. Once you have that, come down here to pixels used, set that to 90. Go over here to motion, make sure pers perspective is clicked. And once you're done, you can come over here to track and track forwards. Okay, once you've finished tracking, come up here, click on the planar, and just match up the corners to the windshield. This will give us the proper perspective. If you want to check what it looks like, come up here to the grid, hit the grid, to see if it's in the right perspective. I think that looks pretty good. Make sure the planar surface is bigger than the windshield itself. So just like that. Come up here, save it, click on file, and hit exit. Once you've done that and you're back in After Effects, click on the video, go to tracking data, create track data, layer one, hit OK. Go to export option, corner pin, layer export two, hit, um, we'll make actually a new solid first. Solid, we'll call it windshield, make sure it's white, hit OK, we'll go back to our video, to the Mocha, layer export to windshield, hit apply export, it should look something like this right now, go down to video, control D to duplicate, rename that mat, hit enter, bring that to the top, Go into mat, create AE mask. Go now to the windshield under track mat. Go to mat. Make sure it's on alpha. We can go to mat now. Hit F on the keyboard to feather. Set that to around, let's try five. That looks pretty good. Now we can. Go into our windshield, right click, pre-compose, windshield comp, leave all attributes in video, hit OK. Now you want to lock the composition video, double click on the windshield comp, take that, drag it to the side, so now you can see both of them, zoom out a little bit. And now we're going to add a gradient ramp. Bring the gradient ramp onto the windshield. Press swap colors. Bring this down so that there's not too much of a shadow. Come up here to the dropper. Now just have to find a color that matches your car. Once you've found one you like, come up here to the pen tool. Make sure your windshield is selected. And now just mask out what you want the eyes to look like. Hit V on the keyboard, right click, new, solid. We're gonna call this eye white. 
make it a little bit just a little bit off white hit OK OK bring that underneath the windshield layer and now you can see what you're doing with your masks a little bit better so we can just keep playing around with it until it looks good once we're, you're happy with that you can go to the windshield layer hit control D to duplicate it bring that new duplicate below and rename that uh, shadow now what you're gonna do is on the shadow layer come up here to the color and make it something dark like that hit OK press M on the keyboard when you're over the shadow layer M on the windshield now you're going to just parent the windshield to the shadow the masks this means that this layer will move wherever this layer moves so once you've done that over the shadow layer you're going to come up here to the effects hit drop it in there turn up the glow radius a little bit hit control D duplicate that glow layer and expand it even further you can now lower the glow radius of the first glow a little bit go over to your projects bar and bring in your eyes now what you're gonna do is come up here hold down on the rectangle and go down to eclipse tool now just mask out individual eyes once you're happy with the eye you can click on the eyes press S for scale and scale it up go over to the effects panel just right click actually go over to color correction and put CC toner using this one you can select any color eye you'd like now come back to the eyes control D duplicate come down to the bottom one rename this left eye rename this one right eye down here press P move the x-axis bring it over now what you're gonna do is take the parent of the right eye and just parent it to the left eye so everything that the left eye does the right eye will also do just go up here to the project file and take the video we're going to press S to scale scale it up some just drag it find a spot that looks good that you like we're just trying to find a good place that we're going to use as a reflection there looks pretty good now we're going to go over to the effects type in glow bring that over turn up the glow radius a little bit just play around with all the settings until you find something you like go over here effect and presets tur type in turbulent displace bring that over change turbulent to bulge turn up the amount once you're happy with that come down to video hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity now bring that down so you can just barely see it as if it's a reflection on the car okay so now we can right click new and put null object bring that to the bottom hit P hold down alt and click the stopwatch over here type in wiggle and we'll just put three comma three so that's just gonna give the eyes a little wiggle to make it look more alive so now is the fun part where we get to animate go to the windshield hit M for masks and now we're going to start just animating the eyelids and the eyes themselves remember to bring actually the right eye and the left eye below the shadow but above the eye white so on the left eye also press P now we're gonna start press the stopwatch to create keyframes on all three of these now just go over it find somewhere where you want his eyes to do something so let's say about here click on the masks just select all of them bring those down say about here it'll create a new keyframe take these bottom ones bring those up so it looks just as if he's blinking moves a 
few frames before. Take the keyframes that you started with, control C, control V. That way it should make the blink, the bl timing of the blink look right. Go a few frames after the eyes are completely closed. And then just take the masks and move them around a bit. Just have fun with this part and take your time. You're just animating it so that it looks realistic. Make sure to animate the eyes as well. I think I forgot to mention to the left eye to the null. Okay, the eyes will wiggle. Once you've finished animating, zoom out and select all your keyframes. Right click on one of them, go to keyframe assist, and press easy ease. Do the same thing for the eyes. Once you've done that, you can come to your video. So we're almost done. Uh, hit control S to save. Type in hue, saturation, take that and drag it over the windshield. This is in your main project. And we're just going to adjust the sliders until it fits the total environment of the scene. So we can actually close this window now. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. And you're just about done. All you have to do is render it out. To do that, Come up here to Composition, uh, hit Add to Render Queue, go into Render Settings, Best Settings, just make sure everything is as you want it. It looks all good to me, so hit OK. Now go to Output Module, click on that. Everything's looking good. Make sure your format is H.264, that is MP4 format. Hit OK. Now here, Output to, and here just select your folder you want it to output to. Now all we have to do is hit render. And there you have it. You are now officially a VFX master. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you out.